What is the purpose of a drop manhole? A drop manhole is a fall manhole that is provided in a sewer line where there is a difference in elevation between the incoming and the outgoing sewer in a manhole unit. We know that manholes are located in a sewer line system wherever there is a change in the sewer geometry or where there is a change in the flow parameter. I have made a separate video on what is a manhole, their components as well as the location where they are actually designed and constructed. The link to the video will be given in the description below. For better understanding of what is a drop manhole, we will look into a cross-section diagram of a sewer line system with various manholes located at different sections. As shown in the figure, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five or six are some of the points where a manhole is being constructed. Here, we are going to concentrate on the manhole number three, which is a drop manhole and whose detailed drawing is shown in the figure. As shown in the figure, we have a manhole unit where two sewers are being connected. One sewer is at a higher elevation compared to the lower sewer and that elevation difference is what we call as a drop. Now, when a brand sewer enters a manhole by a particular elevation, especially when it is more than 0.5 or 0.6 meters above the main sewer or above the outgoing sewer, the sewage is not allowed to fall directly to the manhole so that we avoid any cause of splashing or throwing. So in order to allow this water to smoothly flow under this elevation, we provide a brand sewer to the manhole unit. So this brand sewer can be provided in two ways. Either way is an inclined pipe. Another way is to provide a down pipe. An inclined pipe is also called as providing a ramp and the down pipe is what we call as a drop manhole. If you do not provide a brand sewer like drop manhole, there will be sudden drop of wastewater that causes turbulence, which results in splashing, release of odorous gas and damage to the whole manhole unit. So there are also other problems associated with the air and pulsations within the manhole system. Hence, we need to provide a drop manhole system for proper working of the whole manhole unit as well as for the further maintenance services. From this, we can understand that whenever you design a drop manhole or the drop height, you will have to check the jet trajectory geometry of the fluid that is actually passing through that particular sewer line. Drop manhole construction avoids unnecessary steep gradient of a branch sewer reducing the above mentioned issues and also the amount of earthwork that will be required to construct a more uneconomical way of providing a sewer line. Drop manholes are considered special manhole structures that involve coping up with the hydraulic problems that are associated with the intake in the shaft and as well as at the outlet. Usually, wherever the difference between the incoming and the outflow sewers is greater than 0.5 meters, we provide a drop manhole. But we don't suggest a drop manhole when the drop height is greater than 7 to 10 meters. Coming to the construction of a drop manhole system, we have shown a diagram of a circular drop manhole system that has been provided. The brand sewer is connected to the manhole of the main sewer through a vertical pipe, which is called as the drop pipe. The sewer from the branch sewer line moves down the vertical pipe and through the horizontal pipe reaches the benching. A prolonged length of branch sewer with a plug is provided for inspecting or cleaning the branch sewer. So this is particular type of drop manhole arrangement. The design of the manhole varies based on the drop height as well as the sewer motion. Hope you understood the basic concepts behind what is a drop manhole and the construction details. For more such innovative and construction related videos, please subscribe to Civil Engineering Fanatics. See you in the next video.